Hi everyone, this is Waffle. She's been taking over Pause Your Stress's Facebook page today and show us a little bit of her fetch skills today. This is her orange. It's a little plush orange. It's her favorite toy. Okay, ready Waffle? Ready? Go get it. Okay, we're working on the dropping part. Drop Waffle, drop. Good girl. Come here, come here, come here. So Waffle really likes fetch. When we first got her, she just started playing fetch um, with us. She would bring her orange to us on the couch. Okay, you ready? You ready? Good girl, go. Um, and so we uh, started really playing with her, getting her to play fetch a little bit more and more um, and see how she would go. Good girl. Good girl, you ready? Are you ready? Go get it. Um, so we've really kind of perfected it as much as we can. Um, but uh, Waffle loves playing fetch. And she'll actually, if I'm at work, even in my office working here from home, she'll even bring her orange to me um, and try and get me to play a little bit of fetch over my shoulder from my office. So, um, a little bit about Waffle, seeing that she's taking over Pause Your Stress today, we want to get to know her a little bit more. My LTE will work a little bit better, there we go. Um, Waffle is just over a year old. She's a short hair American tabby, which is like a pretty common type of cat out there in the world. Come here, come over here, into the camera. Good girl, are you ready? Go get it. Um, we ended up getting her from the SPCA uh, about six weeks ago. So we are definitely a COVID adopted family. Um, I was working from home um, and thought that it'd be a good time to have some company and, and maybe help someone out. So uh, that's where we found Waffle. Um, and she, at about a year old, she was found here in Saskatoon. Um, and she had two kittens that she was taking care of then, just as a little one herself. So, um, yeah, so we brought her in. She had just been spayed and gotten all of her shots when we found her um, and took her in. And she's adjusted really, really well to our family. Don't you think, Waffles? Yeah? Don't you think? Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go get it. So I think with the pandemic and everything, um, it's been great to kind of expand our family and, and have Waffle come into it, as well as teaching us new things like her playing fetch. And we've gotten to talk to some of our other family members and friends come on, who have cats who will play fetch as well. And it's kind of just brought us all together. So I think Waffle's pandemic tip for self-care and a little bit about mental health is trying new things. Where are you going? Trying new things and not letting anyone tell you what you can and can't do, hey? And that no matter who you are, where you come from, or in Waffle's case, your species, uh, you can do uh, really interesting things to keep yourself active, engaged, and connected to your community here during COVID. Hmm? Right? Yeah. You ready? Ready? You ready? Okay, go get it. Good girl, good girl. Okay, sit. Sit. Good girl. We're working on sit before we throw her orange. Um, I'm used to training dogs. Um, I grew up on a farm with lots of dogs, so training a cat has been quite different. But she's doing okay so far. Okay, come on, Waffle. Go. Okay, are you good? You can play with it for a little bit? Okay, come here. Come here. Come go. Go get it. So one thing uh, everyone likes to point out about Waffle is that she is very, very quick to go and get her orange. But her retrieval 
her return isn't exactly the fastest there is. <laughs> Don't get it stuck under there. Okay, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good girl. Good girl. Are you ready? Go get it. Ready? Okay. Okay, come here. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> Hi, Ben. I see you commenting. Yes, the fetch is definitely happening. I mean, on Waffle's own terms, of course. Because, you know, that's just kind of how she is. Are you ready to go? Are you ready? Go! Um, so far with Waffle, she'll only fetch with her orange. Um, not really sure why. It was her first toy that she got when she came to our house. So I don't know if that's part of it and it's just her favorite. Um, I've already had to do surgery on it a little bit. It's kind of falling apart because she plays with it a little bit too much. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, go! Good girl. Oh, taking the long way around. There we go. Good girl. Good girl, come here. Come on, are you ready? Go. <laughs> Sometimes uh, she likes to keep it just a little bit further away from us, just to make it fun, hey? Okay, you ready? We'll see if she'll jump over. She sometimes jumps over the chair. Let's find out. There she goes. Over the chair. And of course, a little bit of grooming halfway through. It's kind of how it goes. Hey, Waffle. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, are you ready? Let's go again. Let's go again. Are you ready? Let's go. Down the hallway. Go. Very, very slow on the return, Waffle is. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Go. Good girl, good girl, and a little bit of a flop. Let's have some pets in between. Good girl, Waffle. So yeah, Waffle is a little bit of, uh, I guess we could call it an androgynous name, um, but Waffle is a girl. And um, like I said a little bit earlier, she was actually found uh, with a couple kittens here in Saskatoon. Pretty sure they ended up naming the kittens like Pecan and Walnut to go with their Waffle Mom, um, which I just love. And the SPCA actually gave her the name Waffle and we thought it was just perfect, so we've kept up with that. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? You wanna go? Okay, let's watch. There we go. Yeah, she definitely saunters back. That's a really good way to put it. Very proud. Very proud that she's found her orange. I was able to get a good girl. Thank you. Okay, Waffle, are you going to sit? Waffle. Sit? No. Okay, come over here. She doesn't really like sitting on the tile, which kind of ends up being the thing for her, but okay. Okay, go. And with her orange, carrying it back. <laughs> a 
This is also her narwhal, but we're not playing with that quite right now. Narwhal isn't for fetch, of course, only the orange, apparently. Okay, go get it. Good girl. But yeah, we would love to hear, I think Waffle and I are super excited to hear if anyone else has any cats that do kind of some more dog associated tricks. Um, have you been able to teach your cat how to sit, maybe roll over, play dead, fetch, anything like that? Shake a paw, we're working on that one too. Not going quite as well. <laughs> Waffle really doesn't like anyone touching her feet, so I think that's part of it. But we'd love to hear some more stories. So Pause Your Stress has predominantly been with, with dogs, and we love them. They're great, but you know, cats have kind of their own personalities too and they can do their own thing to help us out. So we're really trying to get creative in our ways of staying active, especially when we're self-isolated like we kind of are. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah, a little tail going? Okay, go. Saunter all the way back, slow and steady, of course. Maybe a little bit of play along the way. Uh, if anyone has any questions about Waffle or our takeover today, be happy to answer them. We'll have a couple more uh, posts and exciting things going on today. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Waffle? What do you think? What do you think? Are you ready to go fetch? Are you ready? Okay. You ready to go? Oh yeah, your eyes are getting bigger. You ready? Go! Oh, maybe if I throw it better. Let's try it again. Throwing it left-handed when I'm holding, okay. You ready? Go! <laughs> Thanks so much, board therapy dogs. Uh, I think Waffle is kind of excited to show off her skills. Oh, and we have a somersault right in action. High fives. Okay, maybe we'll have to work on that one next. Hey, Waffle, could you do a high five for some treats? Hmm? Okay, ready? Gotta go down the hall. Go! Okay, well maybe we'll just do another fetch or two here and then we'll wrap it up for the day. Thanks so much of, for those of you who have been able to stop by and watch our impromptu live. We were kind of going off of Waffle's nap schedule, so we were waiting until she was feeling ready to go. Go! There, good girl. <laughs> Thanks so much, that somersault actually worked out really well, completely unscripted. <laughs> Also, I'm curious to, you know, hear if anyone else uh, has anything. Oh, Board Therapy Dogs is actually Doreen and Laddie. Hello. <laughs> Great to hear from you guys. There we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, I'd love to hear if other cats and cat owners, if they have any special toy that's their cat's favorite, because our orange is definitely our favorite over here. Okay, are you ready? Go! Right over the chair. Oh, thanks so much, Mardell. Yes, uh, we're, Waffle's a pretty cutie. She is um, 
completely tabby. She really has like no white on her whatsoever. Uh, her tummy is really polka dotted, which I find really cute, especially when it was shaved earlier on when she uh, had her spay done. She had a completely naked belly with all of her polka dots. Ready? All right, well, thanks so much, everyone. It's uh, been great doing a bit of a live here with Waffle. We'll see if she's up to anything else this afternoon. Might be time for another nap. Hey, Wafflekins. Hmm? Um, but we will talk to you later. If you have any other questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and as always, uh, follow Pause Your Stress and take care of yourself here during COVID. Go get it, Waffle, and then we'll say goodbye. Bye, everyone.